Hi everybody and welcome to the making of my Batman diorama. It takes me two years to achieve it. In this diorama I use some night models figures that I found really amazing and I entirely made the decor myself. So in this making of I will show you the 3D design, the construction and the painting of it. Enjoy and welcome to Gotham City! First, after a phase of research and documentation, I modeled the whole set in 3D. The software itself doesn't matter, as long as you can save the files in a format compatible with 3D printers, such as STL files. Here, I use the Shaper 3D application on the iPad Pro, which allows me to create architectures quite easily. Once the files are ready, they are printed by specialists. Thanks to François, Aurélien and Olivier for their great work. The most detailed parts are printed in resin for a very fine result, and the large parts used for the structure of the diorama are printed in plastic. Fun fact! To facilitate the assembly of the buildings, I glued the LEGO pieces to them, which allows me to assemble and disassemble the set to facilitate the detailing and painting. Three D printing can do some amazing things, but a lot of the work is still done in the old school way. A huge part of the work on the buildings consists in adding many details, such as cables or heavens, to recreate the Yoba jungle atmosphere of Gotham City.
After a year of work, I finally can stop the painting process. The first step is to undercoat everything with black spray paint, then I airbrush some white to give the first lights. Then I airbrush the base layers and finally I detail by brush. Here, for the cobblestones, I start with large washes, then I detail the cobblestones one by one to give them more relief. All metal parts are made of non-metallic metal painting to accentuate the comic book style of the diorama. For the light effects, I start with an airbrush to give a progressive glow, then I paint with a brush to accentuate the effect. Here, I'm working on a red light effect. So, I start by marking the edges of the bricks around the neon with white paint. The point is when I airbrushing the red color over it, everything that has been painted white will appear very strongly. To give a real neon effect, I use white on the reliefs followed by a wash of red. So yeah, shit happens, but this one had no consequences. Here, I'm working on the painting of the windows with a very orange color to contrast with the rest of the very dark building. For the subway, I want to give it a metallic look typical of New York subways. So I paint the values in black and white, then I airbrush some thin layers to color it. Here I am after two years of work. This diorama will have changed me a lot, especially with the presence of many light effects. <laughs> 